What's up guys and welcome to another video. Today we're taking a look at two of the more fun golf simulators on the market in the OptiShot 2 versus the Fee Golf Simulator Package. Today we're going to take a look at our first impressions of these two popular devices, the key features of each, what the softwares are like, pros and cons of each, other simulators we're considering and which one we recommend buying and for who. As always, thanks for watching the video and if you like this kind of content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. So the Fee Golf is definitely marketed as the more fun of these two options because it doesn't come with a real club and you don't hit a real ball. What you get is a short club, which is like a club, but it's much shorter. And um, it's a simple and cheap solution. You also get a sensor that fits on the top of the club that you get, or you can put it in a real club. And then you get a USB key as well to charge the sensor and to connect up to your, um, your smart device. It comes with the E6 software, which is one of the best in the world. And you get one course for free. If you want to upgrade to more courses, I think it's $2 um, a month or $25 a year, which is pretty good. Um, as we say, you can use a real club, um, but this one does not actually use a physical ball. The OptiShot 2 is also one of the most popular um, simulators around. It's simple but, and cost effective. You can use the foam balls that come with it, or you can use a real golf, um, you can use a real golf ball, and you use your real clubs with this one. It comes with a sensor mat, two foam balls, two adjustable rubber tees, a 10 foot adjustable USB cable, and the software. Uh, it's easy to use. It's not going to take up too much of your laptop's, um, you know, memory and stuff like that. And uh, this one is a more full golf experience than the Fee Golf option. So the thing with the OptiShot 2, because you're using foam balls or real balls, you might have to get a net if you're using real balls, and you might have to get another mat to put under the sensor mat. This one basically works as the club um, speeds past the sensor before it hits the ball. It measures the club face angle, the club head speed, and you select your club on your laptop and it will then estimate the loft and the distance of your shot. Um, you can use real or foam balls and the software is not going to be too heavy on your laptop. You can actually get it on its own or you can buy it as part of a complete package with the net and the extra mat included. You can play 15 courses at home or by yourself, uh, multiplayer or with anyone else who has the OptiShot 2 and then you can buy extra courses for $30 each but you get to try them out three times first for free and there's a load of courses so you could be trying them out for free for a long time. You can check, change different weather settings or you can make the courses even all pair three so they've got all the famous courses in the world you can make them pair trees if you don't have space to swing your driver putting is not going to be the best but that's the same with all of these um, launch monitors and simulators but you can set gimmies to win a certain distance of the hole say even you know seven to eight feet and it will give you all the putts that end up within that range with uh, one extra stroke so the OptiShot 2 has been known as the cheapest accurate simulator by a long way. So it actually can give you a, a real golf experience because you're swinging a real club and hitting a real ball. But the R10 has now come along to challenge the OptiShot 2 in a big way. You get plenty of free courses. You can play online or you can play solo at home or even at home with friends. And there's a range of different packages to suit your budget and the space you have in your house. So you can use the foam balls against the wall or you can use real balls and get a net to catch them and it's just one is simple and easy to use from day one as we say putting is not the best but that's the same with all of them it is more for fun than serious play so if you're looking for real accurate stats this isn't going to be the one for you because if you select a driver and you swing a pitching wedge it's going to give you the distance that a driver would have um a driver would have got with that club speed you select the club it doesn't matter measure a launch angle so it's just guessing the loft that you got on the ball the graphics are only okay and you need to pay for the extra courses so fee golf for what it is it represents excellent value it's a basic simulator that basically works with a sensor that goes on the top of the practice club or a real club and it's designed to be more of a fun solution than a realistic way to improve your game although the practice club is like a golf training aid it's pretty accurate for what it is, but the closer you get to the hole and um, the more difficult it is to play a good and realistic shot. Like if you are in a bunker or if you're in the rough, then it can be very hard to get the right power in the shot to get it close to the hole. 
It comes with the E6 software now, which is one of the best around, and you get one free course. You just simply download the apps, hook your smartphone up with your sensor, and you are away. You can even hook this one up with your TV as well, or you can get a projector. And if you want to use it with a real club, you can put the sensor in the real club and you can hit a real ball into a net if you want to. The sensor measures club head speed, tempo, attack angle, swing path, face angle, and estimated carry distance, which are great stats to track, but we have to question how accurate they really are. And it gives you a 3D overview of each swing on the, um, on the interface after you hit the ball. As we say, it can be played with a real club or the practice club and you can hit a real ball if you want, but it's not gonna make much of a difference to the end result. And for the cost, this is going to be an excellent option for anyone who doesn't have the space to swing a real club in their home, um, for like kids or teenagers who want to improve their game, or just anyone who wants to have fun with their friends at home, and up to four people can play on the system. Overall, an excellent value training aid that can bring endless golfing fun straight to your living room and you don't re really need that much space to use it. Pros and cons of the Fee Golf system. And this one's extremely easy to set up and get started. You can have it running within about two minutes and you just connect it up with your phone and you can project it onto your TV or you can project it onto a projector on the wall. It tracks a lot of stats for the price of the unit. One of the best value units around. It comes with excellent software multiple game modes like driving range mode or target distance mode as well as playing full 18 hole, hole rounds with up to four people and you can also bring the sensor to the range and stick it into your clubs um, although it's not extremely accurate you get excellent battery life and it brings golfing fun to the whole family and the putting is quite good for what it is cons it's not that accurate Close approach shots are a bit unrealistic, so this one's only going to be accurate to within 10, 20 yards. Maybe even, uh, it might even be further off than that. And it may hit straight perfect shots a bit too much, and putting can be impossible if you're going downhill. So other devices we would consider, and if you have a bit more budget and space in your house, then the SkyTrack is an excellent photometric system. It's extremely accurate and it comes with the best golfing softwares. You can play it on or offline, or you can take it to the range, but you probably need the metal protector to get it up at the right um, at the right height to catch the ball at the range. And this one costs a good bit more at $2,000, but it's more of a professional unit. And then the R10 is one of the best devices to come out in 2021. It's a market leading device that costs about $600 and it combines a launch monitor with a simulator and it comes with Home to Heroes, which is a cartoony software, but you can also connect it to the E6, which is one of the best around, as we've said. Um, it's highly accurate and effective, and uh, it does more than the OptiShot and the Fee Golf, and it only costs, you know, a couple of hundred dollars more. And it's the best value option for the quality and what it actually is. So if you're someone that um, plays golf, that wants to play rounds at home and take this to the range, then the R10 is the one for you. So which one to buy? And we would say go with the Fee Golf if you don't have that much space in your house. You want simple and fun fun rounds with minimal fuss and you know you don't have the space to swing a full club. Get the OptiShot 2 if you have more room and you want to hit real balls in your house. So you'd have to get a net to catch those balls. Uh, or if you want to play rounds online and with friends, basically with anyone else who has the OptiShot 2. Buy the SkyTrack for high quality professional indoor rounds, solo with friends and online. And I'd probably recommend the R10 to nine people out of 10. If you have the space, if you like to go to the range um, and play uh, virtual rounds at home, and you have a little bit more budget than the OptiShot and the Fee Golf units, then the R10 is definitely one of the best devices around, best value and best performing. So that's it for our video today. Um, two excellent options. Let us know which one you're going for in the comments. Thanks for watching the video. And if you like the content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel.